Hello, I'm Mirotti, and yeah, we'll be showing you the pass now, which is, which is going to be the normal mode of the uh, normal difficulty of the game. And yeah, uh, I don't think we need to get like to this more. Let's just start it, mm -hmm. which is gonna start now. So uh, let's look, uh, in this very room. We don't actually have slow mode. Which is important because the task actually abuses like a lot of it. So it's a bit slower than usual, but starting from here, we will be able to use slow mo, and perhaps you'll be able to see the actual type uh, speed difference here. It's like it's not a huge difference, but still, maybe you can see it. Uh, okay, so this is the task, and usually, do uh, when a player. Uh, no, when a person plays, uh, they use like just uh, ordinary normal rolls to roll, which is kind of slow, but it's all right. It's like the fastest way that we have. But the task actually is able to use a different tech that essentially lets you like double roll. Uh, well, it's more like you do roll, then uh, interrupt it in the middle, and then do a roll again. Which is neat, and it saves a ton because the way rolls work is that the the first part of the roll is rather quick, but the second part is increasingly slow. So it's great that we can like chain together two rolls to save a ton of time. Uh, and to do the double roll, you need to use a slash. So you can do it after like on a flag ground or after slashing an enemy. And here we'll be able to see a Ricky boost right here, <laughs> which just like throws you into the air because yes. uh, because Physics. of stuff. <laughs> yes, because of Ricky's, how to okay. Ricky's are the the skinny uh, skinny dudes with the white outfit and the suspenders, and they have a crowbar. And typically, when they attack you, they'll clash against your sword, put your slash on cooldown for a little bit, and knock you back a little bit. And something about that knockback property sends you flying uh, at an absolutely ridiculous speed if you happen to deflect a bullet at the same time. Yeah. Uh, like it, uh, deflecting a bullet there uh, while being bonked by the Ricky essentially like, just kicks you out of the slashing state. And you, uh, during a bonk of the Ricky, you actually get like for a frame, you get uh, thrown to like a uh, very huge uh, speed. You get like a huge speed. So by deflecting a bullet, you get thrown out of it and you are able to actually save all of the speed for a very long time. And also, one more thing about the slow mo, you can notice that uh, you actually don't see it being used here, uh, as opposed to Lottie's run, because uh, only one frame inputs of the slow mo are being done, rather than it being pressed for a long time. And here, actually, the slow mo is. Uh, you cannot use slow mo again, uh, right? St starting from here, for a few rooms. Yeah, this is like noticeably slower. <laughs> Yeah, at oh gosh, uh, the Ricky boost will be actually shown a few more times throughout the run, as like it saves a bunch of time if you manage to actually find the setup, which is the issue, because you require a Ricky and a bullet that actually comes at you, which does not happen often. Yes. <laughs> yeah, There's... you can actually see the difference of enemies here. Just just a, a few uh, Ricky boost very useless here, right? ones. Yeah, there's going to be a Ricky boost right here. Bam. And also there's a second uh, part of the Ricky boost, which is a Ricky slide, which you do by crouching just before you land. On land. So you actually manage to not only save the time that you were being like uh, flung into the air, but then save the time when you land on the... what is it called? Uh, the land. <laughs> uh, the floor. Oh yeah, that's the one. Uh, yeah. And the Ricky boost we saw there a few screens ago is actually the only one that people go for in real-time runs. It's uh, it's fairly practical to hit as a person, not to do it as well, apply as far or slide as quickly, but it does help and it's viable to go as uh, go for as yeah. a person. Whereas every other Ricky boost you see in this task is completely ridiculous. No one would ever do it. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, you see a lot of parts where she is leaving enemies behind uh, and killing them by deflecting bullets. Uh, this is oh, a. Yeah. This, in addition to saving time from having to go out of your way to kill them, um, deflecting the bullets actually lets you cancel your rolls and roll more, which means rolling faster. That actually does, uh, you can also do that double roll for uh, deflecting bullets as well. So you want to, like, rather, uh, oftentimes you want to, uh, rather than killing an enemy, you want to leave them behind and let them shoot, like, uh, two times or something like that, because you get to deflect twice and you get uh, double rolls twice. And also, here's the doom skip, but that, that by the task. <laughs> That's basically how I do it. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, it may be possible to do the doom skip with only like one deflect rather than two, but you'd really have to like check around all of the timings and stuff in positions to see if this is truly possible or not. It might not even be faster. No, well, well, no. Well, yes, if you need to like change setup and stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here we bully V <laughs> again. <laughs> this is therapeutic. Shame that uh, like basically all of the bosses in the game like uh, run like that that you just bully them for the most part yeah as even a human speedrunner most of the bosses in the game even on hard mode are not terribly difficult hard mode headhunter yeah. is probably the most interesting one yes uh and probably heli like it's only the, the only interesting uh boss to actually fight heli is not interesting it's just a nightmare well, at least on normal mode is like interesting to play. Maybe not hard mode. It's a bit oh, more difficult the, to do. There's the deflect. There's the deflect skip that you do, and that I assume that. Yeah. Uh, do you have it in the task? Yes. Of course I do. Of course I do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. I, I can't remember if you actually tasked that part. You did that part RTA, right? Because it's RNG. Yeah. Uh, the bullet. The, the bullet skip was. Uh, was with the task, the rest of the issues was uh, uh, me was playing it <laughs> because there's too much RNG. And yeah, you can just see Kissyfei is being bullied again, just yes. like him before he's able to even attack. Uh, and here's about... sorry, go ahead. Yeah, here's the murder stage, which is just pure hell to do it. Uh, two tasks actually, because. There's a lot of RNG, like in every single thing. How enemies move, how they shoot, and everything is fucking annoying. And like, <laughs> oh god, it took so long to do. May I steal a moment to share a lovely announcement with y'all? Oh, yes, please. We are less than $1,000 away from that Super Metroid incentive, so come on chat, I believe in you. Okay, uh, you may notice that there's like uh, these uh, cuts here and stuff. That's actually quick restarts being done, which you do by quick restarting. And in certain situations, it's better to do that. And here's the bullet skip. We save a bullet to actually hit the helicopter, which skips to one of the phases. Although it's not like, it saves like a second at most because you have to wait for V to shoot. Which is yes. a shame that it's so little. And it's also RNG as to how much time it saves. And it can also lose you time. I think if you're we like, determined like that on average it saves like a very small amount of time if you go for it, which is like yeah. half a second or less. Um, yep. It can save up to a couple seconds if you get good RNG no, no, and he no, shoots no. as soon as you want him to. It's like a second and a half at most, I think. It's not bad. <laughs> Importantly, yeah. it's cool. And yeah, time for Chinatown, except it lo looks really cool to do it. I love it. It was also a lot of fun to toss, I think. Oh, wow. Here we actually, uh, we are going to throw two projectiles at the en two enemies that are going to come out of the uh, off screen. <laughs> and here we save a bullet to kill one of the police men. 
and then a throw uh, bottle, was it? To save time as well, because otherwise you need to be close and pass and all of them. And yeah, Dragon Time! It's gonna be really cool as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the issue with the tossing the dragon is that you ac actually just go too fast for the dragon cooldown to go off. To go off, so you can oftentimes just have to wait for the door to, for your slash cooldown to go off before you are like, able to open the doors, which is annoying. <laughs> One thing you yeah. saw on the first screen there. Uh, at the very beginning of that level is uh, the dragon dashed away from an enemy and deflected a bullet apparently at the same time. That's because you can immediately cancel a normal slash animation with a dash. And if you do it quickly enough, you almost can't tell. Yeah. <sighs> Yay, Ricky Boost. Ricky Boost. And okay, here, sadly, we have to wait. Although, uh, just before the well, smashers uh, go up, you can actually slash, which is ever so slightly. Uh, you clip into the smasher, which just saves a little bit of time. Hey! Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like the enemies fun. aren't there. Oh yeah, this is like... Uh, the interesting thing about the pass is that the more enemies there are, there are the, the faster you are. <laughs> so they are actually like mini speed boosts. <laughs> the task is moving a little funny here to dodge the cameras, except on the last screen where you're allowed to get caught. Yeah. And yeah, in the bunker, there's like... A, there's going to be like a few very cool uh, rooms that you'll be able to see. Skip? Oh yeah, of course there is. Come on. I wasn't sure if it was faster. Oh yeah, it's uh, like a half a second faster. Mm -hmm. Like uh, basically what you do there is uh, you have to open the door and the, above there will, you will have to wait for him to explode, uh, which is the intended way to, for it to go. But you can instead uh, kill yourself with a bomb after opening it, so you skip uh, a part of the animation. So you essentially kill yourself before the enemy can kill you. And here we will be able, uh, we will do a laser skip where we have to go down and deactivate these lasers here. But instead, by you doing do some a, a frame perfect thing, you can. Uh, to skip it, and here's the bomb skip. And here's Maka 1, uh, Maka 2 1. I love it. I spent so much time on this one. <laughs> and yeah, the normal mode is like uh, this room uh, for this one. It's like much, much easier to do. And also much quicker. <laughs> it's also faster if you're a robot. That part helps. And also here, there's going to be a very cool thing that you we do. So you normally have to just slash her, uh, but you can actually save a bullet to hit her instead, because uh, she appears on the opposite side of you. So and the bullet is much faster than you, so you can actually do that and save some time. And sadly, there there isn't like any cool tech. The very last uh, boss level, which is a shame. I still have to find something for it. It's embarrassing. You can do it, but it so strictly long. loses time. Yeah, it's such a shame. And yeah, that's time. Here's yeah. Hello, hello credits. Uh, so, thank you for watching uh, my toss and the Lottie's run. Okay, okay, I should probably read out this credits for who did what. So, uh, Cortez made the task tool itself, so I could actually like do it. And then there was Cherry Jam, uh, he made like a data readout tool. So like it gave me like coordinates where I am and stuff like that, which is like extremely useful. Quinn is fluid, 
she made a, like a modification to game uh, to simulate a, a non restart room to a quick restart room, which is like extremely saving a ton of time. Uh, I like uh, for the task groups themselves, like uh, for uh, I, like I did most of them. Uh, Snack made like the very last uh, uh, boss fight. There, Doom Doom like found a bunch of uh, uh, what, what uh, strats and stuff like that. He found the like hard mode dual skip, the slaughterhouse skip. He also found the Doom skip. So exciting stuff. And also, yeah, last number I found the double roll thing, which is like saves a lot of time. And yeah, that's for me, I think. Thank you. GG's. Thank you so much to Barodi, Modulati, and of course, Barodi's wonderful robot taskbot. We are are going to take a short break, but I cannot stress enough how close we are to the Super Metroid opening cutscene. Oh my gosh, y'all are blowing me away because we just got an $150 donation from Alex Reese, Rice? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name, but you, you didn't leave a comment, but I appreciate you so much nonetheless. Thank you so much and another 150 dollars from turbo c who says such marathon much cause many donation yes we would like many donation we have 501 dollars left to watch those opening cutscenes. so we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna come back and I'm going to freak out more because the 501, come on, we can do this. I'm so excited for you, chat. Okay, be right back.
Welcome back, everyone, to Frost Fatales 2023. I'm Pippi in a top hat, and this is our final day of Frost Fatales benefiting Malala Fund. And oh my goodness, we have Super Metroid Club Nintendo percent coming up next, but I have so many donations to share with you first. Um, here's a quick hundred dollars from Red Dracani, who says, Five hundo, let's go! Now, Red Dracani, I have some some interesting news to share with you because there's not actually five hundred dollars left to that Super Metroid watch opening cutscene incentive anymore. There's negative 114. That's right, we will be watching the opening cutscene for Super Metroid. Thank you so much, all of our generous donators. But the night's not over yet because we still would like to beat our PB from Flame Fatales 2022, which is our milestone incentive. We are currently at, according to my screen, $123,000, and we're trying to get to $137,000, and that will put inscription on the schedule. So, chat, you're doing amazing, and... I would love to keep doing amazing. Okay, enough from me. More from donors. Ooh, here's a hundred dollars from Cyclone, who just says, "Hi all." Hi, hi Cyclone. We also have five dollars from Anonymous, who says, "I'm sorry to say, I don't think I've ever seen this opening cutscene. Can we see it just one time, please, chat?" Well, chat did say yes. So yes, we will be watching it. And it's just for you, Anonymous. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I would never lie to you. Here's $25 from Anonymous saying, Taskbot, please marry me. Now, I don't know what Taskbot's response to that will be, but I'm happy to pass along the message. Here's another $25 from Meow We're Talking. It's a pun, I get it. Who says that putting this towards the Super Metroid opening cutscene incentive? Thank you. Having so much fun watching with our nine week old daughter. I'm excited to share with her our love of games and for her to see the kindness and generosity of this community as they come together to make sure all women get the education they deserve. Hashtag trans rights are human rights. Indeed, they are. Here's $25 from Quacksilver, who says, Club Nintendo percent holds a deeply special place in my heart as one of the category extensions that got me into category extensions. For generations of people running video games in whatever weird and wacky way their heart desires and raising money for an amazing cause. Meanwhile, let's go Fant! Fant will be up right next. So excited to see that run, and I hope y'all are excited to see it, too. Here's also $15 from M Mage Danvers. Mage Danvers, who says, Thanks all for another great event for a great cause. Smiley face. Also $25 from I Like Cake. I appreciate the take. Who says less than three? Less than three. $75 from Dragonista, who says, even though we are on an island with no Twitch today, we still wanted to thank everyone at Frame Fatales for a lovely marathon this week. Less than three. How many more less than threes do you think we can get? I do love me some less than three. Here's $10 from TB Silver, who says, donating to go slow? I'm in, let's get that cutscene. Indeed. I would also like to go fast, but let's watch the cutscene first. That's, we, we have an agenda to meet here. Also $20 from Anonymous, who says, pop, 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 pop. Pop. Am I Twitch chat yet? Have I popped enough? Remember to bite the RNG, everyone. 
<laughs> Here's another hundred dollars from Blue Cheetah, who says, I've been watching GDQ for a long time. I've met friends through you. You've helped me through hard times. Thank you for all you do. Thank you indeed, GDQ. The gratitude in these comments uh, is so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you everyone for being a part of it. Here's $25 from Dragon Llama. Are you a dragon? Are you a llama? Are you both? That's an interesting animal. But they would like to say thank you for a fabulous week. Thanks to all the runners, commentators, tech staff, and GDQ to support such a marvelous charity as Malala Fund. Let's hear for that. And highlighting women in gaming. Can't wait for Flame Fatales. Now don't get too excited because there's more Frost Fatales to come. Reminder that... Ooh, we're only oh, a little less than $13,000 away from that milestone. Let's beat our PB. I want to beat our PB. And you know what I'll, I'm sure will help with that? Here's $25 from The Knight Who Goes Knee, who says, save the animals, less than three. That's that's in this run, right? I, I, I'm not sure. I might have to confer with the runner on that one. We'll double check on that. I, I, but yes, I agree. <laughs> Here's $29 from Chenzi Coden, who says, I did the math and realized how close I was to the grand prize. So here's the rest. Save the animals and let's get that bonus game. Ooh, marvelous reminder that donating money to charity helps us meet that bonus game incentive and also enters you to win cool prizes. I see no downside. I see absolutely zero downside. Here's $125 from Willow, who says, So excited to see Super Metroid at Frost Fatales. Save the animals! Well, I'm glad you're excited. I'm excited too. And we don't have to wait much longer because I'm told Fant is ready to go. So take it away with Super Metroid Club Nintendo percent. <laughs> 